Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a touch of noise and also improve audio that you've recorded. So let's hop into Adobe Audition to do the work. And here are my courses. If you want to learn more from me, head to mrc.fm forward slash learn. I'd love to teach you in bite-sized video chunks inside these courses, mrc.fm forward slash learn for audio production, podcast production, sounding great on a live stream, and a whole lot more. A lot of my knowledge right inside those courses. So here we go. We've got some audio. Yeah, and it's a belief that you're capable you're a capable individual. Now, when I'm working with reducing noise, I always like to open up spectral frequency view, uh, which complements the waveform. Waveform will show you the amplitude uh, and the volume of all this speech. But down here, you'll see that the spectral frequency view gives you a nice look at what's going on. So you can see the, these purple speckles here, particularly in between the speech, indicate a lot of noise going on. So what I'm going to actually do is get rid of this, first and foremost, by using one of the great noise reduction effects here called denoise. This is really, really good to use uh, using the preview window, which is up here in the top right. It can show you a before and after of what that denoise is doing. So with it completely off, you're a capable... Got lots of hiss. Listen to that hiss. There's the hiss there. And then with it all switched up, let's push it up to 76%. The further you go, the more it removes. Yeah, and it's a belief that you're capable. So that's much better than... Yeah, and it's a belief that you're capable. Switching it on makes a huge difference. So applying that straight away. The next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is going to affects noise reduction and restoration. And I'm going to go to de-reverb. And again, this works the same as denoise, but it removes any room reflections, any room echo. Uh, so let's have a go with this. Yeah, and it's a belief that you're capable. You're a capable individual. You're a very resourceful. Okay, with a little bit of that, it does just a tad amount of echo removal. And uh, you've, you've got now already a piece of audio that's sounding a lot better. Uh, but now what I might want to do is add in one of my favorite effects. And this is kind of a catch-all for fixing any background noise problems that remain after you've done the denoise and the de-reverb and also helps you to improve the overall quality of the audio. Let me just say, first and foremost, you should always fix noise problems before you start going on to do the effects I'm about to show you, as these can actually have the adverse effect and make the audio quality worse. So in effects, amplitude and compression, we've got dynamics here, and I'm going to set it to the default view. And we'll start first uh, with an auto gate. Auto gate is like a noise gate. It opens up when you let audio above a certain threshold through and closes when audio falls below that threshold. So you have complete silence. And again, Shift and D, or this icon up here for the spectral frequency view, will show you the impact it has. Let's bring this threshold down a bit. Yeah, and it's a belief that you're capable. You're a capable individual. You're a very resourceful individual. So as you can hear there, it's closing the gate every time the speech is going silent and keeping it nice and crisp. We can also add on a compressor uh, to even out these volume levels. You can see sometimes the audio is quite loud and then our speaker goes quite quiet. We can change that. Default threshold of minus 20 is pretty good. Push the ratio up to maybe two or three for speech. And let's see what happens down here. Now we've got a nice flat waveform. Of course, compression by its nature pushes down audio above a certain threshold. So in that case, we need to push the makeup gain up to make that audio loud again. Yeah, and it's a belief that you're capable. You're a capable individual. You're a very resourceful individual. Okay, let's apply that. And we're already getting a great sound. Let's switch off the preview window, off spectral frequency, and we've got much more uniform audio. Yes, this audio is recorded at a little lower quality. So when we actually switch on spectral frequency, we can see it cuts off around the eight kilohertz mark. So we're losing all the top end from this speaker, unfortunately. That's not something we can bring back using EQ, but we can certainly try and shape it to sound a little bit better. And that's again in effects. And we'll go to filter and EQ this time, parametric equalizer, maybe to add some finalization to this. I'm going to add on HP for a high pass filter. Let's push that up a bit, cut off some of the bass, some of the low end. You're a capable individual. You're a very resourceful individual and you have overcome it. And then what we're going to do is also so notch up some audio. You're a capable individual. You're a very resourceful individual. Just pulling down here around the, the boxy base, the boxy low end. You're a capable. Um, if you have been in the world, which you all have, you have overcome a number of things in your life. So there we go. That is audio that we've improved with just a few steps. Denoise, de-reverb, 
auto gate, compression, and a tiny bit of EQ. But do remember all of this stuff up here, all the high end is missing. All we can do is maybe pull down on the low end and push down on the mid to low end as well uh, to just increase the presence and clarity. But already with just a few steps, you can improve the sound of audio using the tools in Adobe Audition. <laughs> 